Okay. Definite integral using u substitution. This is AP calculus AB, and here we have a problem that looks like this. And this is what I, I guess, want to start off talking about, talking about this issue that, with some certainty, that we can expect that when we have a definite integral from a to b of f of g of x times g prime at x dx, it is the same as the definite integral of f of u du evaluated from g of a to g of b. This is going to make a lot of sense in a second, but at first it kind of looks crappy, but it's actually pretty easy to do. So what I'm going to do here is just make a let statement, and I'm going to say let u equal 1 plus 2x squared. Why am I doing that? Because I believe that this x right here could possibly be part of the derivative of this, so I'm just going to take this inside piece out here. I'm going to take du dx of that, and it's going to be 4x. I'm going to solve for dx, and the reason I'm solving for dx is I'd like to replace this dx, the yellow dx right here with this one here. So if you just do this algebra, you, you'll find that dx is the same as du over 4x. All right, I'm going to rewrite this function in terms of u, so I'm just going to rewrite the whole thing. The definite integral of from 0 to 2 of x over square root of, well, remember, we did this u substitution, and we said that u is equal to this. So I'm going to take this piece out and replace it just with u. I'm also going to take my dx value out, take my dx value out and replace that with du over 4x. Hopefully you can see that these x's cancel. This one is in the denominator, this one is in the numerator, so they cancel, right, to 1. And I'm hoping that you can see this is 1 here and this is 4 here. I'm hoping you can see that there's a 1 fourth there, so I'm going to take this out as a constant multiplier. Put my integral back up from 0 to 2. And then I'm also hoping that you can see that square root of u, well, 1 over square root of u, is the same as u to the 1 half, right, as a rational exponent. Because it's in the denominator, it comes off as a negative exponent. So we get u to the negative 1 half du. That's the form that we promised ourselves that we would get into in the beginning, and that's this form right here, right? So we did that. And from there, we're just going to do this bit right here. Well, please remember that that u is equal to 1 plus 2x squared. Well, we have this function not in terms of x, but, but in terms of u. So we need to replace these pieces, the, the, the lower and upper limits. So the lower limit was 0. So now it's 1 plus 2 times that 0 squared is equal to 1. So our new limit is, lower limit is 1. We're going to do the same thing with this 2 up here. So I'm going to bring this down, 1 plus 2 2 squared. 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So our new upper limit is 9. Right? And that's exactly what we're saying. That's exactly what these pieces right here say. Okay? Alright, let's go back down to here and see if we don't can't put this thing away. From here we're in good shape because this is integratable form, right? And we're in the form of f of u du. We changed our limits, so I'm going to take 1 fourth. I'm going to go ahead and start to integrate. So go ahead and integrate here, and then we'll use fundamental theorem of calculus to evaluate this. So it will be, right, u, right, I'm adding 1 here, so u to the 1 half, right, but it's 2, right, because it was over, right, because it's over 1 half, and that came up as 2, isn't that right? So 2 as evaluated from 1 to 9. Look, 2 over 4 is 1 half, so there's my 1, I took the 1 half out, right? And now I want square root of 9 minus the square root of 1. And if you're asking what this is, this of course is the fundamental theorem of calculus. And we learned that before. So we know that the square root of 9 is 3, square root of 1 is 1, so 3 minus 1 is 2, so we get 1 half times 2. And our answer, the area, is 1. So this was kind of a pain, but we're going to do a lot more problems like it. And more importantly than that, I promise you, you're going to see this on the AP Cal AB exam. So good luck. Looking forward to your comments. And please subscribe. Billy said that you should subscribe. Thanks, Billy.
and he means now.